Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my project wax. So this is a candle project pan that I have been going I think for almost two years now um, but basically I put in candles that I want to finish up and I update you guys when I finish them and I update you with new ones that I put in the project so let's get started I'm gonna start with all the candles that I finished since the last update which actually is quite a few so I'll start off with those the first one that I have right here is a love every bunny sweet carrot cake which was actually from last spring in 2021 here is my progress on it so I put it in it was about a little more than halfway and then right here and you can't really see it you can kind of see right here where the product is where the um, packaging is see-through but it's like at the very bottom finished it all the way up and it would not burn any further I tried um, the set notes are sweet cream cheese frosting fluffy carrot cake and cinnamon spice this one was really good this was really weird for the time that it came out which was like April and I was not ready for you know spicy scents then so I saved it until it was cold outside it worked perfectly for like end of December into January it was really really great so I enjoyed it for that time of year if they brought it out again I probably would get it it was honestly a really great performer another empty that I have that I absolutely loved is peppermint hot chocolate which this one was so good I was kind of well I am right now actually obsessed with like the peppermint scents for the time of year that we're in I honestly it wasn't even that cold in December here in Houston so I wasn't in the mood for peppermint scents but all of January it's been like really cold here and even into February it's been cold so I enjoyed this so much I actually just finished it off the other day the scent notes are cool peppermint silky milk chocolate and sweet cream this one was a really great burner it looks like it was city but I honestly don't remember it being that city um I finished this one off in my kitchen. It was so yummy. It was amazing. And actually, Ryan, um, sorry, you can hear Kai down there. He just sighed. Um, Ryan mentioned, like, he walked upstairs and he was like, wow, this smells amazing. Like, what is that? It smells like you're making cookies. And I was like, nope, it's hot chocolate, actually. But this one was really good. I would definitely pick it up again. And I really hope they come out with it again because it was honestly amazing. So that one was really great. Another one I finished off is Cinnamon Irish Cream. Oh, I didn't show you the uh, lines. Sorry. I think I put in the project unused and then this was a month and then this is now. So there's the progress on that. But the next one is Cinnamon Irish Cream, which this one's from last fall or actually 2020 fall. Yeah, 2020. Scent notes are Cinnamon Spice Liqueur, Irish Cream, and French Vanilla. I was going to return this one, but I decided just to try it out. Um, it's another one of those super cinnamon heavy scents that I just wasn't in the mood for unless it was really cold. So this one was great to finish off in January. Here's the progress lines. It started out right up here, and then a month, and then now. So yeah, it was good, it was a good performer. I probably won't get it again because it was almost like, people say like this Play-Doh scent, which I agree. It's almost has like this like Play-Doh scent to it. So I didn't love it, um, but I did finish it off. And then the last three wick that I finished is Tis the Season, which this one was really great. It's basically just a juicy red apple scent. The notes are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. Um, here's the progress. It started out unused, halfway, and then to now. It just burned all the way down to the nubs. Really great, juicy apple scent. I burned this primarily in the bathroom. I actually really loved it in there, so that one was great. And if I found it again on a good deal, I probably would get it. The last empty that I have is actually a single wick. This is in pumpkin spice latte. This is from the brand Light Yo Wicks. Um, it was like a local vendor and I found them at a farmer's market. So really great scent. The I didn't notice this until the very end, but the wick definitely drifted a lot, which kind of scares me. Um, so I just stopped burning it. It probably could go a little longer because the wick is still like a little high, but I just, I wouldn't want to because the wick is so close to the side. But this was a powerhouse, even stronger than Bath & Body Works pumpkin spice latte in my opinion. Really great scent. If I see her again at another um, like trade show or farmer's market, I probably would pick another candle up. I think this was the like 15 or 20 bucks. So I will say that, but you know, you're getting some money local, so. Okay, I moved you over and I kind of adjusted the angle. So sorry if that weirded you out. But anyways, um, I don't remember where 
where is that? Oh, I left off with this candle. So that's the last empty. Let's go ahead and update on the progress on some other candles. The first one I have is Give Hope, which is peppermint marshmallow. We've had this going in our bathroom, not bathroom, in our bedroom. Um, scent notes are crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. So this one's been really, really nice. It's a very light throw, I will say, but I still love the scent of it. I think it was, if it was anywhere else, but like a bedroom or a bathroom, it wouldn't throw at all. Like if I had it downstairs in my living room, you probably couldn't smell it at all. But in the bathroom, it's actually a very nice, like relaxing wind down the night scent. It's super subtle. The wicks are honestly really tiny, but it works for the scent. Um, so I really like this scent. I've repurchased it year after year and I probably will again. Even though I know it's a light throw, I still enjoy it a lot. So that one's staying in the project. The next one I have is Love Cotton Candy Champagne, which actually didn't get much progress on. I think I burned it once. I just haven't been in the mood for fruity candles. I thought it would have been warm and warm in the last like month or so, but it honestly hasn't been. It hasn't warmed up, I mean, but for like one or two days. So I never got around to using it, but here's the progress on that. So just a little bit. I guess I burned it once or twice. Um, really great scent though. So I'll probably dig into this in the next month. So I will keep it in the project. And if I didn't show you, here's the progress on that one. I think I did though. So the next one I'm almost done with. So this one will probably be used up after like tonight. This is Pumpkin Bonfire been really enjoying this one so here are the lines let me go ahead and mark where I'm at today so here are those progress lines one two three four months and it's pretty much almost used up this got really sooty and kind of icky um, but it's a bonfire note so it kind of doesn't really affect the, the smell of it at all um, I've had this going in our living room downstairs it's like a really nice just like overall fresh scent for the living room so i've been enjoying it a lot it'll probably be gone in the next couple of days the next one i have is goose creek's pumpkin pie which is a very it's not really like a seasonal scent to be using right now but i've gotten some good progress on it so it started at unused then this much and then we're now we're like here more than halfway pretty much i haven't used it all in the new house i used it primarily in my bathroom at the old house but i could see myself using this in like the living room or the kitchen i feel like it's a really good scent for that area so I think I will bring this downstairs and try to finish it because I only have so much left and I probably could do that in the next two months. So that would be really nice if I could finish this one off. The next one that I have is another peppermint scent that I've been loving. And this is peppermint sugar cookie. This one actually replaced peppermint hot chocolate in the kitchen. I had this going this morning. It's so great. So here's the progress on that from here to here. Not a lot of progress because I was focusing on peppermint hot chocolate, but this one will get used next and I probably will have it done the next month because it's such a great scent. It's just a beautiful, like, sweet vanilla peppermint scent. So it's been really, really good. I'll have this finished up in no time. One that I'm actually gonna take out of the project is Give Warmth Marble Chocolate Cupcake. So this one I had like unused pretty much. I used it once and I couldn't smell it at all in our bedroom. So I'm gonna go and return this for a new candle. Um, it smells great on cold, but I couldn't smell it like at all burning. So I am gonna go exchange it. I do still have the receipt. So I'm just gonna do that and not bother with trying to burn this one up. So I'm gonna take this out of the project because I'm gonna go exchange it. Okay, updates on the two single wicks I had in the project. So this one I actually hadn't burned when I put it, first put it in and that's raspberries and whipped vanilla. And I did get some progress on it. This is honestly a beautiful scent and I know they have it in a three wick uh, for the spring. It's so good. I would I would probably pick it up in three wick. Um, I'm not going to right now because I still have this one and I still have quite a bit of ways to go. So this is my progress, but the scent is amazing. It reminds me of blackberries and basil almost, um, but with a little bit of like that vanilla added in. So it's a very like sparkling bubbly. It almost reminds me of black, black what did I just say? Blackberries and basil and champagne toast because it's the blackberry and the champagne um, with like a little bit of vanilla. Really, really great scent. I've been loving this. And then the other single wick is Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte, which I did get a little bit of progress on, not too much. I find myself not really reaching for the single wicks as much anymore. 
Um, so I'm going to try and finish these off and probably not buy any more. Um, but this one, just like a nice coffee scent. I can imagine this being really good to use on the weekends when we get up late and stuff. Um, but I just haven't been using it. But I'm going to keep it in the project so I'll continue to use it. Here's my progress on that one. Okay, I'm going to add some new candles in. The first one being Pumpkin Donut Shop. You guys know this is my favorite candle. Well, one of my favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. Um, definitely my favorite like non-seasonal candle. Although it came out in the fall and then again in the fall. Um, they must think it's a fall scent, but it's really not. The packaging is gorgeous. This is from the 2020 line. I actually ordered this one off of Mercari because I got so sick of not having it. Um, it was, it's, it's such a great scent. Mm, just beautiful. It's honestly just like powdered sugar donuts. The scent notes are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar. So good. So I'm starting it out right over here and I'm going to try and finish this one up. I do have a backup from 2021, so I'm not worried about like not having it again. And I hope they continue to bring this out because this is a great scent. Ashley Nicole put me on this one. It's amazing. It's so good. I will say though, these wicks are like the puniest wicks. I have had to cotton ball it a few times, but it's my favorite scent, so I honestly don't mind. <laughs> so there's this one. And then to go along with it, I usually burn a coffee scent. So I am gonna put in whipped coffee, which is from last spring. This one, scent notes are shot of espresso, whipped sweet cream, and sugar crystals. So it actually is, it says 2020. Is this from 2020? I guess it is. I don't know. I guess I thought it wasn't that old. Maybe it was made in 2020. But it definitely is, I think, from a spring line. But anyways, this one is definitely more like a white caramel cold brew, if you guys have ever tried that one. It really is just mostly like milk caramel and then like a splash of coffee so definitely not like a super coffee scent but still really good and these two together I think are going to be great for like in the kitchen area oh it's going to be so amazing in the mornings when I'm working so really excited about having those two in the project and then I'm also going to add in red velvet cupcake so to get my like cake fix since I'm taking out the marble chocolate cupcake there's this one pretty much no actually completely unused Smells like cake batter. Scent notes are lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting, and sweet vanilla. So this one's going to be really good. I'm excited about this one. Um, and I really want to get some progress on it. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know down below what candles you are burning currently. Like what are your ones in your rotation? Have you moved on to spring scents yet? Let me know down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. But thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!